Hey, I hope everybody's doing great. I'm going to do a VR um, for Mr. Fisher Bike, Jason with a Y. And um, he wants us to show some of our Cleveland Indians cards to cheer up our best friend Scott at Reindeer Studios. Um, I just happen to have a few of them sitting on my desk. And I haven't seen these flashed up yet. Um, one of the piles of my exhibit cards have got getting sorted out and these are from 1939 to 46 yes there were cards made between 1939 and 46 exhibit um, company put out cards each of those years um, so these cards can be pre-war during war and post-war all <laughs> at the same time first one I got for you is uh, Jeff Heath. And this one is um, from 1943 through 1945. And it's a salutation exhibit. Best wishes, Jeff Heath. Next one up is one of the leaders of the Cleveland Indians. Um, Last time they won a world championship. Lou Boudreau, sincerely yours. This one is was printed in 1946. If anybody wants to collect exhibit cards and has any questions about them, I'm open to answering any questions. Is just send me an email or uh, if you happen to have my text. Or give me a call if you want. Um, I've got several checklists from 1939 through 1966, and we can almost date every exhibit card during that era. Some of them run five, ten years, you know, with one printing. Like Ted Williams was, you could get his card anywhere from the 40s up to about 1960. And they all look the same, except some had um, tan coloring and others had black and white coloring and some had made in USA some had printed in USA and some had a variety of all caps partial caps larger and low and smaller and etc larger view of the guy but this is Lou Boudreau from the last championship team of the Cleveland Indians had some great teams in the 40s, 50s, um, 54, they almost did it. Um, they ran into a, <laughs> a New York Giants team in 1954. Um, you may have heard against Willie Mays. Pretty decent player, I've heard. And the last card I have for you is Rapid Robert, Bob Feller. Yours truly. He signed a lot of cards, a lot of baseballs. Um, great veteran. Um, he once said that of all the memorabilia in his Van Meter Museum, the war military memorabilia meant more to him than any of the baseball memorabilia. That's saying a lot. He was a great Hall of Fame baseball pitcher. Lost a lot of prime time to, to serving in the military during World War II and the Korean War. So I hope you enjoyed the card, Scott. Um, never get tired of showing exhibits and it's going toward a good cause. And I uh, hope you all, all have a great time. I'll put um, Scott's uh, address down below and Mr. Fisher Bike. Um, show some of your Indians and Put a smile on Reindeer Studios' face. Thank you all. Good night.